Hello and welcome to Kitchen Counter Crafts. If you like this video, would you please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And if you will, hit that bell icon so that you could be notified of new videos coming out. Thank you. And today we're gonna be doing something different. I don't know how much you've watched this channel and know that I love, love to do journaling and to use my fountain pens for art. And I have a collection here of ready already inked uh, pens that I kind of keep actually at my kitchen counter and they're right by my computer and I utilize these all the time. So I'm just going to go through them just real quick and tell you which ones they are and then what I'm going to be doing today. Actually, this should kind of clue you in. I'm We're going to be painting with fountain pen inks. So uh, these are the pens that I'm going to be using, my handy dandy Noodler's Ahab and my uh, pen pal actually has her um, fountain pens with little tags so that she has she knows what's in them so I thought that was a great idea so I've started doing that this one has Noodler's Matahari in it and then this is my Opus Omar Opus 88 Omar and that has diamond purple pizzazz in it and then this is my Pelican M400, and it has Diamine's Meadow, Green Meadow. I think it's just called Meadow, but it's green because it goes with the pen. And then this is a Moon Man that my pen pal also gave me, and it is inked with Diamine's Red Poppy. And if you heard that shake in the back, that is our Corgi, who's just ambling about. And then this is my Noodler's Charlie, and it always has Heart of Darkness in it, and I use it to draw and sketch and things like that because the ink is great, and it's wonderful for sketching. It's really meant for that, and so I use my Charlie quite a bit for that. So what we're going to do is just draw tiny little art, and I cut up some uh, just watercolor paper. It's not the best variety. It's not some of the really um, expensive stuff. I actually got it at five below. Um, and so it, I cut it up into the ATC sizes, which is two and a half by three and a half, because I've been doing a bunch of those. And then these parts were left over. So they kind of make little tiny ephemera for junk journals. And I thought that would be a really great thing to do my art on today. So let's go ahead and get started. And I've got my my pens here and the very first one uh, the very first thing i'm going to do is i'm just gonna draw some flowers because i do love doodling i love love making flowers and i'm gonna knock that right over onto my art things just kind of go like that they just go haphazardly sometimes so what we're going to do is kind of draw almost like bluebell type of of flowers but i don't i don't know what these flowers are but we're just going to go ahead and draw them and I do some illuminated lettering and these show up quite a bit in like medieval art. So I, I really like them. And I don't know if you can see that. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit more. So this is what it looks like. What you're, whoa, whoa, there we go. What you're doing is just drawing like a cup with a kind of serrated edge and a little bulb on the bottom. So that's where I'm going with that. And I'm gonna just draw, I like doing things in triangles, so we're gonna draw three of these. So just a, a U and then kind of a edge on it and it does not have to be perfect, which is what I like about it. And then you can also make your U a little bit at an angle if you want, Not that's not too much at an angle. So I've done a triangle, then I kind of like to have some that are, uh, this is usually the case with plants at my house. They're drooping just a tad bit. So you wanna make that very realistic. And then what I'm also gonna do is just go ahead and start drawing some stems and they're crisscrossing down here. And then this stem is gonna go up and down just like that. And I'm going to do another one here. And then this is also going to just crisscross, not crisscrossed way over there. That's okay. It's just all organic in the way that I'm doing this. And then what I'm going to do then is add just a bit of filler, 
because you know that's kind of how flower arrangements go and so that's pretty good right there all right oh and some leaves but we're going to do leaves with the green so i'm going to put this black pen away and then what color should these be i'm going to go with the matahari the matahari is actually a, a very light purplish so um you'll see it in just a minute So this is actually a good time if you like made a mistake or your lines are just not the way that you want them to look. You can kind of fix it a little bit with this pen because see this one was over just a tad bit. So there's what I did. And it looks pretty decent already, uh, but you're going to see what I'm doing. Oh, and then I'm going to just put down here what I'm using. So that's why I left so much space there. So I'm going to just jot that down. Noodler's Matahari is the first one. I'm not putting down Charlie because it's just black. So it's fine. I'm sure that later on I'll pretty much remember since I use it for almost all of my sketches. So um, and I'm going to just uh, I'm going to take a little bit of white and just kind of put that and that way you can see it a little bit better all right so uh, i'm going to add some leaves to this plant and for leaves i basically put just a few here and there these are going to be a little droopy so they're going to kind of arrow down and these are just little tiny v's that I kind of put in coordinating lines. Okay, there you go. That's all I did. So there's the green. Oh, and I need to put diamine meadow. Diamine meadow. And it's a lovely, lovely green. You know what's so funny is that I write down here with it and it looks like this, but on the leaves it's not really looking very greenish but you shall see it in one minute all right and then we're gonna go continue on with the purple theme just because that's pretty much what i have inked and i was like oh let's see what i have inked today what shall i make so just doodling uh this evening and i'm going to just do a couple little dots or, you know like a baby's breath type of a filler and whenever you do these little dot thingies they just look really nice they just kind of add just a little bit of texture to your art and your drawings this one i'm going to pull all the way down i'll just pull that down too so there we go there's my tiny little art i can actually just stop there oh Let's add what this was. Diamine. Purple. Oh, goodness. Am I going to have pizzazz? Okay. I have, I have space. And I'm going to sign it and date it just with the year. Okay. So there's my tiny little art, which... I don't know about you, but I love doing these. I love sending them to my friends. And they just, like for people who don't do art, they're so impressed with tiny little doodles. And I don't know what it is about small art and small things. They just look better, I think. And so now what I'm going to do, just to really pull the color, especially for the flowers, is I'm going to add a tiny bit of water. So what's going to happen is it's watercolor paper so it just pulls and by the way this is a purple paintbrush but it does not have any paint on it at all um, it just had some of the ink in fact I can show you let's see well I've got this white paper let me just show you no paint so just water and um, this is from a Crayola uh, set so that's why it's purpley so there's a little bit of what happens when you add 
water to some of the diamine inks. When I do my ink reviews, you'll see water testing on there and water pretty much destroys all the diamine inks. But this is why artists love diamine inks because you can make these lovely gradients that really look like watercolors. And I think they just look unbelievably amazing. So now I'm going to actually just try to take off much of the water and work here into the camera with some of these leaves and then you're gonna just see the leaves come alive because remember i was telling you like you can't really see the color of them but as soon as you touch them all of a sudden they just kind of it's magic i don't know if you're enthralled with this but i just think Fountain pen inks are just really all that. Okay, so now you can just kind of see how they're just beautiful. So now I'm wondering, do I touch those or not? Let's, you know what, let's let's touch some down here so that if I mess it up, it'll it'll be okay. No, they're they're looking good too. You know, some of this is just kind of trial and error. It's just playing with stuff. So I'm just touching a little bit. And purple pizzazz is actually a shimmer ink. I don't know if this is shimmering or not, but you know, we'll just go with it. Uh, where am I? There. And if you can tell, I did not dip this brush back into the water. I just kind of went with it. And now you can see, there we go. Look at the water. So there you go. There's my tiny little um fountain pen art and there just blue on those um just to see if i could dry it up just a tad bit and see how it kind of expands on watercolor paper it is looking so incredibly beautiful and it really does start looking like you made watercolor art um which i mean watercolor with inks but there is my little art for the purples all right so i'm gonna just set that guy off to the side here and i'm pretty happy with the way it turned out and uh let's go with um i have this red one so i'm gonna now do like a red poppy and so uh no rhyme or reason believe me i just have these leftover bits so i'm just gonna do this one and I can't do that yet because the water's the last thing. Get back over there. Okay, so I think since it's diamine poppy, I'm gonna attempt to draw a poppy flower. And how do I do this on a long thing? Okay, I'm gonna, I guess maybe center it. Let's, let's center it. All right, so to draw a poppy, you're going to, I love drawing the center first, which is just that. It's just a kind of, a, it, it usually has kind of a big blackish um, center. And it has these very kind of almost messy looking leaves. I know that looks probably like an upside down olive, but that's what you're going to draw there. And then you're going to go, try to go, uh, all the way around but understand that the flower is facing this way so a lot of times what you're going to want to do is make the front facing petals a little bit shorter and this one uh, these are going to then kind of fall this way that makes no sense in my instructions that you're going to see me do this just real quick here. All right. Yes, I know that does not look like a poppy. So just bear with me here. So in drawing flowers, one of the things that I have learned is that a lot of it is all in the details. So the poppies have kind of this curvy, skinny-ish um, leg, if you will. And then they also have a whole bunch of lines in them. Oh no, my Charlie. Charlie, what you doing? It's giving out on me. 
it's going dry probably because I've been had it uncapped for a bit. So okay, so I'm just kind of sketching in and filling in some of these spots here, keeping that center flat and dark. All right, and then I'm gonna just curve another line here. And then I'm going to, I think, curve a line this way. I was like drooping parts to the stuff, like especially flowers that I draw because it's again, very, very realistic to my, uh, my house and the way the plants and I do not get along, but I do love drawing them but they don't they don't like me and I don't really understand them so anyway that's that's just an aside on me and plants and then uh, poppies have these really pretty pretty wispy almost they're almost like a pine they're not pine at all but they're kind of like this wisp wispy type of a a leaf there we go and that again looks like an olive but it's actually a poppy pod and what we are going to do is I'm going to sign it okay and then let's set that aside and uh, we have two colors right uh, red and green oh Dang it, I should have done this with green, not with black. Now the green's not really going to show. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. Don't freak out. It will be fine. Okay. Well, there's my bit of green. And what I may do is make the pod a bit green. There's an idea. Oh, what did I just do? It wasn't even green. I did more black. Okay, so guess what? My poppy is just going to be black and red. <sighs> you know, I even just had caffeine. What the deal is? I'm like, yeah, let's add green. Let's add more black. That makes sense. What did I say? Trial and error? I wasn't kidding, was I? All right, so we're adding red, finally. And what I'm doing to it is just adding red this way in little lines so that it looks like something. Looks like a little something, something. All right, so if you look at this, this is what you have here. But then we're going to do some of our water magic here and see if we can draw out the reds the issue is it's actually drying out some of the black so as i grab the black i'm kind of rinsing out my paintbrush and really trying to hit the red that's all black, so I'm going to leave that alone. And if you end up, like I just hit a bunch of black on there, um, you can actually pick it back up and pick up a bunch of this with a handy-dandy paper towel. So it sops it back up, and it looks just lovely because it's gonna give you an opportunity to add just another layer of color in there. Because again, you're using watercolor paper. Can you even see what I'm doing? So I sopped up that first layer and now I added just a little bit of red here that I'm just gonna put two dots of water on. I also want my poppy to look 
just a little bit more red. Okay, and um, so that this doesn't just spread, I'm going to again just dot this with a paper towel just in certain areas. And you don't wanna do that too much because it's gonna then muddy it up a little bit and you don't want that either. So there you go. My poppy, not so hot. My other flowers looking pretty darn good, I think. So I'm gonna just add that here and put dye mine. Poppy. Look at how red that is. And then it's not even looking that red up here. That's okay. It's all right. You know what? I can even draw another one up here. Let's just do that because I'm not really all that happy with that poppy looking one. So let's just can carry on, shall we? I'm going to do it a little bit more loose like I normally do. Sometimes you are just talking and doodling and it stuff just turns out better and then when you're like thinking too much about it it just does not eh. So what's happening is when I add the red, it's already getting mixed in with my Charlie Black. That's okay. Ooh. It's really getting mixed in. Okay. So I drew a very, very quick poppy up there and you know you again you don't even have to hit it at all or you could just depends on what your mood is so there's the the reds whoa that was a big difference isn't it okay so there's the poppy that looks just a tad bit better, I think. And then this one that I really love because it's just cute and tiny. And I'm glad it's dry now so you can see how much that's spread out. Can you even, there you go. So you can see that how that looks. And then a close-up of this guy, which is okay. I'm I'm big bigger on um using just a couple more colors, but you know, it's all good. So I hope that this was informative and fun for you to watch and if you want to give it a go um, let me know how it goes and also what kind of colors you would like to see and maybe some more art maybe I can do a butterfly or something along those lines but for today I'm just doodling and practicing my flowers with water and fountain pen inks so until next time bye